And Claire, you also credit getting in shape because you got your hormones in balance at the same time. Tell us about that. Yes, that is, they really do go hand in hand when you're over the age of 40. So I didn't realize, but my thyroid was malfunctioning a little bit, which happens to us as we age. And my GP was like, oh, honey, you're just in your 40s now. There's really not a lot we can do. Oh, he was so wrong. Once I found the right doctor and got my uh, thyroid straightened out, um, that made all the difference. My Because uh, I was having hair loss, weight gain. Um, I think a lot of women have these issues. And so, yeah, it definitely helped to get that in check. Um, there's so many things that over the age of 40 that start to go haywire as we age, hormones start popping, you know, estrogen, progesterone, um, yeah, thyroid, all kinds of things. So once I got all these things um, checked and make sure everything was in a line, that made a difference also. Yeah. And you were able to do this all naturally. Is that right? For the most part, yes. I mean, I do do HRT now because I'm 49 years old. So you know, again, okay. again, we go through so many changes as we age, uh, your estrogen, your progesterone, and yes, we have natural testosterone in our systems and that starts to decline as we age. And guess what that means? You start to lose muscle. <laughs> so you've got to keep all of those in balance. So that is what I do is HRT along with the clean eating and the lifting. So it all goes hand in hand. Yes. Claire, I have to be a little direct here. I mean, what do you say to people uh, you know, on, I'm sure you're getting it on social media that that say that you must have done steroids. steroids. What do you say to that? <laughs> well, I mean, I did have a little help with HRT. That is important. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's kind of when you think bodybuilding, you know, I think a lot of people are on steroids, but um, not everybody is. Not everybody is. It took me a very long time to get the muscle that I have now in my 40s. So it's just really making sure that your hormones are in balance, making sure that you're eating all the right foods, one gram of protein per pound of uh, lean body mass, things of that nature that I didn't know, had no idea when I started. I learned all of this. Um, and that's what makes all the difference. And of course, the training too. You've got to be intense in your training. So Claire, can you show us an example of what you eat in a typical day? Oh, you bet. You bet. So my breakfast is normally eggs and oatmeal. And then my next meal pre workout is going to look something like this. So this is my chicken and Japanese yams. If you've never had a Japanese yam, you're missing out. These things are bomb. And you do need some carbs and good proteins before you lift. So I usually eat this an hour before I train. And that would be meal two. And then after I train, I have something like this. This is going to be ground turkey with white rice. I do love white rice post-lifting because it's fast digesting um, and it helps replenish your muscles when you drain the glycogen out of it from lifting. So that is when I have my white rice. And then later in the day, I'll have some air fried fish. And I tell people all the time, if you don't have an air fryer, get one because air fried fish is the only way to go. Um, and then I put some sugar-free sauce on this. Um, and again, a little bit of white rice with this also. Um, and then this is one of my favorites, 200 calories for the whole thing. Can you believe that? Look at this pizza. Wow. I know, right? It's got uh, probably about 25 grams of protein in it. And it's 200 calories for the whole dang thing. So it's super good. I post a lot of these recipes on uh, on my social media as well. But uh, and also bison. Bison is one of my favorites as well. So this is just a low carb bun and bison burger with lettuce, tomato, and more Japanese yams because they're my favorite. I'm a little addicted to them. They're so good. Well, yeah, that's a good addiction. All right. Thank you on those recipes, and thank you, Randy, for uh, being there to help Claire.